Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction, and today I'm here with the Certain Scientific Railgun episode 21. And like I said, like I'm gonna do these last three episodes, um, and I'm gonna just try and finish them so I can watch Index Season 2 like literally next Saturday, right? Because I don't want to sit here and have to um, look at another railgun or something, or railgun or two. And then, um, only have, like, one episode of Index or something like that. Like, I, I want some episodes to watch. Uh, you guys know what I mean. But, um, yeah, last episode, what was it? Um, oh, yeah, we went to the, uh, fireworks. Well, before that, there was a transfer student. I think her name was, uh, Harune or something like that. And, uh, basically, they just showed her around. And, um, they snuck out, well... Misaka and uh, Kuriko sneaked out to um, watch the fireworks or whatever. And then, um, well, I, I wouldn't say an earthquake, but like, well, no, I think, wait, I think it was something like, um, yeah, I think it actually was an earthquake. Like, basically, um, that like light post or whatever was about to hit uh, Uriharu and then that one lady from, um, I think she's from Anti Skill. I don't, I don't know if she was a part of that other like um team or whatever that was there, but like uh, Anti Skill or whatever, she came in with her uh, robot suit and saved them. But yeah, um, that's about it though for this little intro. I hope you guys will enjoy this though. Make sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, let's get this reaction started. Oh yeah, and like uh, what I said, yeah, it was like another like a uh, small earthquake, and then the light post just um went down. But okay, let's see what's gonna happen now. Oh yeah, hold up, yeah, that's mighty suspicious. Um, <laughs> she did um pop up out of nowhere pretty quickly. I mean, like j just right at the exact moment when it was well not the exact moment it was about to hit him, but y'all know what I mean. When it was about to hit him, uh, she just came out of nowhere. Like she must have just been watching from afar. Okay, Kiyama. Um, and I also forgot to mention in the last episode, I didn't know if it was her or not, but I think I'm pretty sure now that, um, I saw her in, like, the last couple of seconds, like, um, basically when, what was it, Har Harway, um, yeah, Harway, her, uh, held, like, her bracelet or something, yeah, right here, she was like, where are you, or something like that, and then they show Kiyama, Right? And I was like, hold up, is she back? But, well, I don't know if that was really her. I had to get another look, but, yeah, I think that was her that was um at the fireworks, too. It's not like um this episode doesn't have too much going on. It's just that um th this... <laughs> This reaction is probably going to be short for you guys, because, yeah, I mean, like, I am literally just sitting here watching, like, I, I think I just watched, like, a straight five minutes <laughs> without even saying anything at all. Like, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just sitting here just watching. So, yeah, if the video is shorter, then, um, yeah, <laughs> that's the reason why, because I'm just sitting here watching. Hold up, did Misaka just hack into this <laughs> whole system or whatever? It would just, okay, hold up. But yeah, her power is uh, um telepathy and she's a level two, it seems. Okay. Special note. Wait, hold up, hold up. Let me, hold, let me read that real quick. Um, has exhibited anomalistic ability above her level under specific wavelengths wait hold up oh, what's going on here <laughs> hold up i mean i know she was different but 
I mean, I really don't know. Nah. Like, I'm gonna explain it. I don't know if she's, like, a part of these poltergeists, like, the main guys, or if it's someone else using her, right? Because it's, I don't know. Either she's just acting like this because she's just normal, or she actually um, is acting like this because someone's, like, changed her mind up or whatever, right? <laughs> Whoa, okay there. Oh, hold up. Is, wait, what? Yo, it's like, um, it's like when she's starting to, like, be like, uh, why are you hurting? Uh, where are you, right? Like, um, well, when she starts asking those questions, it's like, stuff is, um, happening? Like, I don't know. I mean, I, I that's the same uh thing that happened okay voices that's the name of this episode so yeah that's probably voices in her head or something i don't know because she was like where are you and the same thing happened in the fireworks and apparently the same thing right here is happening like these little well poltergeist uh <laughs> i'm gonna just call them small earthquakes too but yeah these uh poltergeists that happen <sighs> yo I don't know. It's like this voice in her head makes her do all this stuff. I don't know if it has to do with her uh, telepathy or whatever, that the power that she has, but still, like, yeah, see, look. Kirkle's, okay, yeah, she's saying the same thing I was trying to say, like, um, whenever she was acting strange, right? Like, all this stuff happens. I mean, yeah, let's hope she's innocent, but I don't know. I mean, she clearly just said a telepath could do it. <laughs> just like I was saying, I mean, she has a telepathy, even though she's a level two. I mean, might not be her real level. I mean, I'm not saying she's using the level upper, because that's, like, probably obviously gone by now. But her level probably might not be, like, what it actually is, right? Okay, so... It's complete. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay. Oh, okay. They don't even have the results yet. Okay. Okay, finally. We get to see Congo. Uh, get to see Congo. The, the main victim of all of these um <laughs> incidents that happened. But, um... I guess... Uh, basically, I'm talking about, like, what happened before, right? Um, how she was, like, basically, um, like, what, what's your favorite color? And, uh, Uri Harbor said yellow. So, I guess if you, uh, got your favorite color, like, in your hand, then that's a good sign. And, um, if you got a different color, then it wouldn't be as good? I don't know. Hold on, yeah. I knew she stayed for something because she was like, hold up. Because, nah, bro. I feel like... Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. From um Kiyama's class, right? Dang. I feel like... Oh, okay, wait. Oh, okay. I thought... I thought... Uh, um... Oh, wait, hold up. What's she saying? Okay. Um, I thought a little, like, poltergeist was gonna happen the instant, like, uh, she was talking about how I was looking for her, and then she was gonna start acting weird again, and then after that, it was gonna happen, but, uh, it didn't. I, th I thought that was gonna happen, and then it was gonna finally be convinced, like, okay, yeah, th this is her right here. But, um, yeah, like I said, <laughs> if this, if this video is short, then, yeah, literally, I'm just sitting here just watching bro like <laughs> literally i'm just straight up just sitting here watching um but yeah let's see um but yeah this whole episode i feel like um everyone was just basically well not everyone but some people were suspecting uh Haraway. and i feel like this um uh, when one lady right here i forgot what she well let me see 
let me go back. Um, she said her name. Um, let's see. Wait, hold up. <laughs> let, let me hear that again. Okay, wait. Let me see. Okay, let me hear it again. Okay. Terrastina. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, so yeah, Terrastina, I'm pretty sure um, she's suspecting her too. Because I saw that look on her face when she said I was looking for her. And then it was talking about um, basically how she gets so um, like absorbed in trying to find her friend. Right? And she was looking like, hold up. Like, I, I know she still suspects her. Either... Um, Terracina said a lie or lied to them about her being fine or like, um, I don't even know, bro. Like this voice or whatever, I guess is the cause of it. But yeah, besides all that though, I hope you guys did enjoy this though. Make sure you like and subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.